here in the GSL uh, that's uh, still alive. He is... Mionix Naniwa. Yes, go Sweden. Go where, man? It's country. <laughs> you know how long it takes for continent to move? Yeah. A long time, guys. Don't pressure and Sweden. continents aren't even countries or two. So think about that. I know it. Well, the country, the country's not going to move itself. It's not an island. Countries can be islands. Who's this guy, Tasis? <laughs> In the bottom right, we have our Terran player. In the blue, he is so solid uh, at these very aggressive play styles. We're going to see what he does this time. His idea is... Complexity hard. And uh, he is going for a gas again. So, we'll see what he wants to do yep. here. Now this might be you know, similar to what Squirtle does, or did previously, we'll see what he does uh, today, but um, where he has the same like, root opener, and then branches out into all these other different kinds of uh, uh, builds. Yep. And these are very strong, especially when you have to play um, different people from that are, are the same race, and you can also you play as, it makes it impossible to predict uh, what you're going to do. Now in this case, he's actually getting a second barracks right away. That's actually very interesting. And a reactor. So we're having so, some old school GSL builds yeah, here. We're going to have a two racks opener. Um, we do have Nanoa doing that tails opener once again. The two zealots and a stalker. We'll see what he does from here. Will he do uh, crazy four gateness? Or will he just go for an expand? I think he's going to go for the expansion route this time. We'll see what this zealot can gather as far as information goes. We're actually getting yep. a bunker at the top of the ramp. That's a pretty big tell. <laughs> so, you have a bunker at the top of your ramp. I wonder if you have a command center behind there. Yeah, I, I wonder what the story is with that. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we have the Zealot now coming up here. And again, we're going to see if he spots the second barracks. He actually had that spaced out so completely perfectly. Wow. Can't see add-ons or anything. Yeah. But, you know what? Seeing one Marine in a bunker... That's, I mean, Nanawa should know right now that there's something afoot. Yeah. And he's going to go ahead for the Nexus. I do believe we're going to see him go Gate Gate and then Robo, as opposed to Robo then Gate Gate. Well, if he goes Robo and Gate Gate, he could be in a lot of trouble. He could be, yeah. There's a, always a chance that you can lose the Nexus if they send no. some SCBs. Terran's going to push out when the concussive shell finishes. And what's really strong about this is that any stray units are just going to die. Yes. Any stray Protoss units, I should say. They can't run away. So, uh, that can be uh, pretty scary because, as you can see here, there's going to be a timing coming up. And anyway, I did get a Nexus, as we said on the low ground. And by the way, our toast was correct. There are two more gateways on the way there. It's a good choice. His, uh, yeah, there we go. He's going to chrono his core again because right. it is a bit away from finishing. He's not going to get away. Wow. wow. That's too bad. He wasn't that's, even watching, actually. That's actually pretty painful yeah. uh, to lose that Zealot. You want every single unit you can possibly have. And he's actually going Twilight behind this. So interesting. Because he sees that many units, he realizes he doesn't have to have a Robo. So he's going straight into Twilight Tech. But uh, that, of course, means there's not going to be any Immortals. So let's say that somehow a Bunker got up. Which I don't think it will because we don't have an SCV over here. We have so one SCV with that army. Do we? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah you're right. right. It, there is. Uh, but still, I, I don't think we'll see that actually occur. So all Nano has to do here is actually hold this. And he should be fine. All right, we have the Bunker going down here. It is just one SCV. We're gonna have a lot of stalkers popping out. Hard's not wasting any time yet, getting a lot of damage on that bunker. Right, the right shields away. are now gone. And he's coming down here now. Now he targeted down the uh, sentry first. Nice kiting. 
Yeah, very good choice, targeting down the sentry. Does get that uh, SCB that was building the bunker. Pushes everything back, brought the right number of probes, push everything down the ramp. By the time all his buffer units uh, died, he still has five full health stalkers against a very small Terran army that he and, can you know, crush. With the Zealots are just uh, giant sponges yes. in moments like this. They are actually expendable unit. And he's going to follow this up with the Dark Shrine. Yeah, this is a good choice because you know that Hart has to use a lot of mules to actually and fuel this. on top of that, he's only going to have one command center. Yeah, exactly. You know, if exactly. you scan and miss the DT, well, guess what? That's you know, it. It's, it's like, gonna... Your aggression's gone. The DTs will kill everything. Yeah. Um, you know, there, he's likely to pull SCVs at some point. And that means if you're using scans instead of meals, you literally have no income. Yeah, well said. And so you guys know, this is like a total cookie cutter, excellent response from Naniwad that you can copy. Yeah, this is... Because I know that a lot of people get cheesed like this <laughs> in games. Um, and this is like one of those ideal smart responses. There's a million ways you can respond after deflecting yeah. the cheese. Yeah. This is one of the better ways to do that. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. And in fact, with siege tanks, medevacs, everything on the way, and the fact that he has a couple sentries right now, he's going to be able to get DTs out before any attack actually hits again. And that's gigantic. Oh, right, this zealot barely gets away. That was scary. Yeah, that was intense. All right. So All right, here we go. He's sitting five SCVs over here. Mm -hmm. We're going to see some DTs warped in. Uh, one DT is actually being warped in over across the map. He could warp in some defensive DTs too. Just waiting for some more gas at the moment. Wouldn't be surprised to see a defensive one, but no, he makes yeah, another Yeah, he made his force field block here. Oh! And he's only able to get one of those force yeah, fields. Yeah, that's actually kind of painful. Hart's doing a lot of damage here. And actually warped in the second DT. Actually, I don't think anyone's watching. Nanwa needs to make another DT at his home base. Okay, he's got he one up. Mass. All right, there you go. He does have one. Okay, that's good. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this Nanwa's is actually cutting back the depot. almost. Well, he was a little bit sloppy with not getting that down. And look at that, the scan that he needed. He's repairing his depot wall in at home. Uh, this would uh, be an amazing victory for her if he takes this. I think he actually may very well do he that. May. It's, it's definitely a possibility he at this point. He actually can just go kill the dark shrine if he wants to. Wouldn't it be too bad? And the choice. Raven, by the way, is, is almost half, or is halfway out, I should say. Oh, God. But the DTs are in the main base, killing off SCVs at this point. So this is this is like craziness going on, Tasteless. Meanwhile, back at the Terrence base, uh, which we'll get a shot of. It's He's uh, actually inside. Okay, so actually it did work out. Okay. Hart has killed 33 probes, but Nano has only killed 13 SCVs. That's an issue. Uh, it's 19 probes, though, to 13 SCVs. So actually not that many SCVs even being made this game so far. And the Raven is out. That's that's kind of scary for Nano on here. You know, he had such a perfect counter going on, uh, but missing that force field, getting yep. the late... Uh, DT. Well, he got his third DT in his main instead of his uh, yeah. second. It took him a while to break through the wall as well. He let the DTs start picking off reinforcements. Yep, they, sh they should always just go straight to the SCDs. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not unwinnable for him still. It's just the Raven is going to make it a lot harder. And, in fact, he's getting cloak right now. This is, this is a good move by Hart. He's forcing him. He's saying, all right, if you don't go Robo, I'm going to pick up a free win. I'm going to shoot flying DTs at you. <laughs> yes, exactly. The Banshees might as well shoot DTs out, actually. That's like, it, they're man. So they're, like, they're like a broodlord wraith. <laughs> All right. So, now, little marine drop coming up, and this is going to be scary with Stim, of course. There's this not also, many units in there. I, in, in a way to scout, too. Yeah, yeah. Because he's going to see if there's a robo. You know, even if there's a robo, these Banshees would get some kills, but this is going to be pretty bad, I think. Um, and he's going to start picking off units right away. Nanwa cannot be happy with this right now. Going to pick this off. He does have enough stalkers to... Oh, oh no, it's going to get out. Just barely does wow. not get it. And actually, he sees what's going on. So this can't give Nanwa some time. Nanwa needs to throw down a robo right now. And he does. There it is. But... I mean, that's going to take a while to get observers out. He's going to lose a lot of probes to this. Or, in All fact, right, he, in fact, now we're seeing uh, the Terran pushing here on the low ground. He's going to regroup. Mm -hmm. uh, I now, wonder what he's going to target with the Banshees. He could go for actually attacking this yeah, yeah, and actually just win with his army. Both ways are pretty powerful ways to go about it right now. Uh, I would say because I don't see any sentries that I might choose probes in this situation. And it looks like he is going to choose those probes. If I saw sentries, though, I think that would be probably Oh, best. one DT in the main, though. Ooh, nice move by Nanowa here. That's going to make that Raven come all the way back. 
I think at this point in time, you might as well just pull everything. Yeah. Um, I think we are. I can't believe gonna... he turned around here. Now, how many? Uh... Banshee has four kills, but he's almost out of energy, so. It looks like he's going to have to get out of there. All right, so right now we have eight SCVs against 29 probes. As far as armies go, Hearts is better. 16 Marines, three Marauders, a Medivac, two Banshees, a tank, and a, a Raven against four Zods, three DTs, five Stalkers, and a Sentry. But he is getting, he's going for Archons, he's getting charge. Thing is, three and gate charge lots. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's pretty. You know, well, it's. You know, here's the other thing is that uh, Hart is uh, almost out of time here. He is actually running out of uh, resources at home. Mm -hmm. I think he should actually just regroup with these banshees and uh, just attack with everything at the front. I don't. I think that he's actually going to do that. To be that honest, looks like that's going to be the case. You know, he's he's getting ready. He has that very important uh, raven. Throw down an auto turret here. Yeah, wouldn't be bad. Okay, now this is a good force field here. Now notice he's using these cloak banshees to pick off units at this point. Uh-oh. And... Oh, it looked like he was going to try to snipe that next. All right, he's coming up here now. And uh, the Protoss is going to have to attack. And here it goes. The Protoss being pulled as well. Arcot's coming down, doing a lot of uh, splash damage here. Point to French run in an auto turret thrown down. And it looks like he should be able to break through here. Nanoa in a lot of trouble. That's a lot of Marines with stim. Yeah, too many in the front for that oh, Immortal to be man. good. Immortal is not in a good position here. In fact, no anti here either. So the Banshees are going to be invincible and GG. Damn. He just, he just does not care, Artosis. No, man, Hart just wants he to just win. He wants to win, man. And I tell you what, you and won I right there. That. Uh, you know what, Nano, I had a great counter. Unfortunately, it did not work out for him. Well, he missed that force field and allowed Hart to get that critical amount of damage done. You know, Hart already teching up, had the time between repairing uh, his depots to not let DTs in and then just running SCVs around to actually make uh, Raven before he took the critical damage that Nano needed to do. So yeah. there was two spots where Hart took that victory. It was one, get it, sniping immediately that that sentry and getting up that ramp to start his damage right away, and then delaying the damage of Nanoa. If he had messed up on either counts, I feel it like Nanoa would have taken it. And, you know, uh, Nanoa, um, he's really smart, but I think this type of play is not... He's not as comfortable with. No, uh, you know, you know, this is this is like really quick improvisation. Yeah, Hart, uh, Hart like forced a victory against Nanoa here today. Yeah, okay, that's and there is really an art when you're when you're doing uh, an all-in like this. Like, are you attacking that exact specific unit? Mm -hmm. You know, or you know, yeah, you, you know when you to heard pull it back? when we were talking about the Banshees and stuff. Like, well, yeah. are there units here? You know, he's coming up with another all-in. Do you need to kill probes? What he do you made, go after? He made the right, right here? choices there. Yeah, he did. He, Hart made some great choices throughout the entire thing. I was actually really impressed with that all-in. It that was third really nice. game. He did a very good job with it all. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick little break, but when we come back, we're going to have some more awesome StarCraft 2 action here at the GSL Codes.